another day, another box card watching episode, episode number 49. We're back again with the daily recap, baby. Uh, we had three games, three games slate, pretty fun games, one hell of a game, and we'll talk about everything before we get to that. If you enjoy this type of content, leave a like, subscribe, let me know your thoughts about today's games, what are your feelings, how do you feel, and if you could subscribe, you would make me pretty happy. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, that's enough shamelessness. Let's get into it. We got the Heat winning at home against the Clippers. So let's start with the Clippers who lost today. As they were missing Kawhi since it was a back-to-back. -back. Paul George played though and he had his best game since coming back even though it's been like three games, right? But one of his better games of this season overall as he had 29 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists, 10 of 20 from the field, 5 threes. He didn't make all of <coughs> he didn't make all of them in the clutch but he was still really good today and that's a great sign for the Clippers as he's getting back into shape and you got John Wall again who hit two threes which is nice but he couldn't finish anything around the rim against Bam he was nine points eight assists off the bench there of course still missing uh, Norman Powell who's been out with a groin injury and there is still no timetable that I could find when he's back but it should be soon since there are no reports that he's supposed to be out for long so probably the next game uh, he should be back it shouldn't take that long, right? And that's a good sign for the Clippers. You got Ivica Zubac with 9 and 8. And everyone still contributing. They were fighting on a back-to-back -back against the Miami team that is kind of desperate also. So it's a, it's a rough loss since they were once again up double digits in the first quarter. Then they blew it in the second quarter where they are the worst team in the NBA in those second quarters which is interesting that I didn't even know and it, it really makes sense when you you know think about the games that the Clippers have played yesterday against the Magic. It's exactly the same uh, scenario pretty much and yeah they were in it, they were fighting but at the end they just didn't have enough against this Heat team that need did a win and they got it done shout out everyone in the starting lineup except for drew smith i suppose but well he played only 22 minutes max true still shooting really poorly over the well it's been very long since he actually had a good game it feels like but at least he was solid overall with eight points for rebounds to assist you got Victor Oladipo with 6, he is getting back into shape, Dwayne Dedman had in his 11 minutes 6 points, so that's fine, but it was all about the starters, right? You got Tyler Hero, he had 19, hit 4 threes, he didn't play efficiently overall from the field, but he was efficient from the 3 point line and he was still really good. Overall, you got Bam with another great game, he had 31 and 10 with 4 assists also. When Bam is playing like this, you just love it. He took 21 shots, made 14 of them. He was aggressive. He was getting after it. He was great defensively also. So Bam, we all know, is the X factor here for the Heat. And he's been stepping up lately. I want to give him props. He, yeah, of course, it's not as consistent as you would like it to be. But I feel like I'm seeing more from him than I, you know, saw last year. So that's a great sign, I would say. You got Caleb Martin who stepped up today with 17 points. He also hit four threes on in eight tries he had eight rebounds and you got jimmy who even though of course you can see plus minus was negative but he made so many winning plays in this game he had 26 points five rebounds eight assists four steals 10 of 12 from the field and he was just so damn clutch in the fourth quarter and that's what jimmy does man he just he just is a winner you can't deny it you just you just gotta give props to jimmy man what a player he is next up we have the spurs getting a win after like 11 game losing streak as they beat the rockets which essentially makes them lose because they're now tight in the Wembanyama race, right? <laughs> yeah, it was a rough night for both Jalen Green and Kevin Porter who didn't shoot efficiently. Well, Jalen at least shot two of three from the three-point line, which is very great for him, right? And he didn't take that many of them, but they couldn't finish anything around the rim, couldn't shoot mid-ranges, couldn't hit anything. They were just off, both were off. It happens. It happens way too consistently with Jalen for my liking so far, uh, but I'm still a believer in him. He'll figure it out. So, that it was rough that you had the Shangun dunk and this was a wild game overall it was actually really entertaining because uh, the Rockets were kind of ahead it was looking like they were gonna be the better team which they should as be in my estimation but they missed like three dunks in that second quarter that was wild because I don't know what the hell happened there right they missed three dunks that were wide open essentially then you had the Shangun dunk in the third quarter when 
they called an offensive foul. They didn't even, you know, uh, they the call st stood after a review. So that was interesting to see, right? And they just got blown off the floor then in the third quarter. The third, it was 39 to 23 in the third quarter, and they essentially lost the game there. In that fourth quarter, it was over. Then the bench unit came in. They uh, at least put it down so it didn't look like it was a blowout but it was a blowout it was garbage time minutes where you know Boban was seven, seven points with three of three from the field you got Josh Christopher with two points Tita Washington with two points and the other guys from the bench were out there just playing better than the garbage time players for the Spurs and it was interesting uh shout out Jabari Smith he had a good game 23 and 4 defensively still a little rougher but he's finding his shots which is all that matters right as soon as he's finding that shot it's great and shout out to the Spurs for getting a win Calvin Johnson my boy finally had a great game 32.7 rebounds 14 of 21 from the field and he just loved to see it because it's been far too long man it's been far too long uh Trey Jones had 26.5 assists on 10 of 16 shooting and they even won without Devin Vassell, which is really impressive since he's been their best player throughout during this lost streak, which, I mean, doesn't say that much, right? But they got a lot of people in double figures and a good win, I suppose. So their fans can at least be happy with a win for now, even though they might not be happy with a win since they want Wembanyama anyway, right? And last but not least, we move on to the best game of the night, which is Nuggets against the Blazers, which this, this game always delivers, man. There are so many classics between these two teams and this one wasn't many different. And as always, this, this game delivers, man. Nuggets against the Blazers, they are always bangers. These games are always incredible. And this one was nothing different as that last five minutes of this game was absolutely incredible. They were they were trading buckets. It was Dame, it was Anthony Simons, it was Nikola Jokic, it was Jamal Murray. And shout out to Jamal Murray, who was sensational in that fourth quarter. Even though he was struggling throughout the game, he made a lot of those clutch shots in that fourth quarter. He hit the game winner, of course, and he hit the shot before that. He matched Dame shot for shot, and he had the last laugh today with 21 points, 5 rebounds, 8 assists. Shout out to Jamal Murray, who's been looking better at least. A huge shout out to the bench. Tonight, it was a lot of great bench play for the Nuggets, as Bones Island, Jeff Green, DeAndre Jordan, and Christian Brown all were really good out there. Christian Brown had that put back in that fourth quarter when it was, you know, when it felt like the game was getting a little bit away from them and he had 6.5 boards the andre jordan was out there looking you know good which is incredible he had 5.6 yards three blocks which i mean the andre jordan has been actually looking pretty okay-ish which is crazy actually uh jeff green had 6.4 rebounds three assists and bones island at 13 5 and 4 and just a great win for the nuggets and on portland side it's another rough loss especially the way dame was playing in that fourth quarter it was dame time he was sensational he had 40 points 12 assists 9 of 17 from the three-point line he was 12 of 22 from the field he was simply incredible he hit those classic dame shots in that fourth quarter with two minutes to go it was truly dame time and Jamal Murray just matched him and the defense was not good enough for both of these teams essentially but Denver just got the last shot last laugh right a rough loss the bench was not great today it was the, the benches were the difference because both starting lineups were solid solidish except here for for Portland Anthony Simons wasn't as good as you would like him to be today he had six points only but he may hit that one shot in the fourth quarter also so he wasn't like completely horrible but just wasn't good and the bench was bad so th that was the biggest difference in the game the bench didn't give them anything they needed and got totally outplayed by the Nuggets bench and it's a rough loss <laughs> it felt like you know once again Dame goes off against the Nuggets and the Blazers still lose uh shit happens I guess yeah that's it for today so let me know your thoughts about today's games and tomorrow we got much more games as always because Thursday and Tuesday there are just three games as of right now but it should be getting better throughout these next couple of weeks where it shouldn't be that there are two games three games in one day and then there are 13 games in the other days it should be getting more balanced tomorrow we got the Hawks against the Nets that should be a good one even though the Hawks are without Dejante for two weeks Cavs Kings should be a good one. The Kings got another chance to prove themselves at Cleveland, which is a very tough place to win at. 
You got Sixers, Lakers, hopefully AD and LeBron play. Pelicans, Suns, another good one, Chess, Timberwolves, Bucks, Mavs. Tomorrow is a stacked slate of games. I'll be here to cover them all. You already know that. And I'll see you all tomorrow.